Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. I'm going to be looking at your energy, the energy connecting the two of you as well as the energy of the person that you're dealing with. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There is going to be an extended reading for those of you that are interested. So I'm going to start with your energy, right? What I'm noticing from your energy during this particular period of time, Aquarius, is the fact that many of you are feeling very high powered. There's something about your energy being very different to how it was before. I feel like you feel motivated, you feel determined, you're very much on the path towards wanting to get what you want. And I'm also picking up a sense of you having a few wounds that you have, you know, brought along the way. So in the course of the journey, you've learned certain things, you've discovered certain things, and you know, you're not so trusting of individuals. You're not the type of person that you were before. You're definitely the type of individual that will take everything with a grain of salt. So I feel like you are coming forward with that type of energy, a no-nonsense approach. And you're not very tolerant of um, you know, people that are trying to uh, pull, put the blinds on your eyes or, you know, the blindfolds on your eyes, things of that nature. Now, what is connecting the two of you? I'm seeing here an indication of, you know, some sort of complicated situation that could be indicating one person not being as dedicated and devoted to the other as they should have been. There's this fantasy that has been playing out between both you and this person concerned and there's a movement away from it. You know, you could be looking at this individual in a very different light where you're taking their words more seriously. It's not something that goes into your mind and your, you know, your eyes are glazed over. It's not like that anymore. So this is coming out very heavily in that sort of direction. Someone is moving away from this fantasy or the idea of what love is or what love should be. Whereas your person's energy is indicating a lot of changes that are happening. They might have left one cycle behind and moving towards a new cycle. There is an indication here of your person being more willing and open to, um, you know, meet you halfway. And this could be as a result of you becoming more aggressive or becoming more of a hardline, hardliner in the situation. So I feel like the in energies... I don't know why I'm struggling to talk, but I feel like the energies are giving me an indication of the fact that, um, you know, your person has learned certain things as well when it comes to you, when it comes to this connection as a whole. So let's begin the clarification process. I feel like there was so much information, that's why... It was all coming at me really rapidly. Right. So your person's energy is indicating that they've had a set of habits or patterns that they could apply before. And I feel like they had the courage to go forward in that sort of directional path. But there's something here which is indicating that what they used to do in the past, it can't work on you anymore. There's an indication of you having grown and having learned, you know, about who you are and what this connection is. Now, I feel like your person may have approached you or there was an opportunity to work things out in the past and the past energy is coming out in the future. So... What I feel like is your person is having a hard time letting go of what they used to do or what they used to get up to in the course of the situation. So if they have ingrained habits or patterns, it might be difficult for them to understand that in order for this connection to move forward, change has to happen, right? It could be something that is very hard for them to wrap their mind around. There's also other energies here which are indicating, you know, a greater deal of respect. I feel like your person, they either have very high standards when it comes to love, when it comes to relationships, and it feels like they are either threatened by the fact that they could be losing you and that you might be successful, you might be somebody who has a lot going on for you in a very positive light, right? Right? 
And there's this worry inside of this individual that if they don't change, they could lose you forever. I'm getting that very heavily here. That's why we have this specific card that has come up. So there might be a recognition of that, that the old tricks, the old habits, the old sort of things are not going to work any anymore on you because you've grown too smart. It feels like that. So I just go by what um, I'm picking up in this situation. Right, so the energies are showing to me a lot of grief, a lot of worry. There's still attraction towards you. There's a desire coming through from your person looking for an opportunity or a way back into your life. I'm picking that up very heavily. There's also a desire to, you know, get a certain sort of message across to you. I feel like this individual suffered a lot as a result of an ending that occurred at some point in time. And there's a sense of this person seeing you grow into a much stronger individual, seeing you become who you've become as a person and uh, recognizing your value, recognizing that if you were once immature, perhaps acted in a certain way that wasn't um, you know, useful to the two of you having a connection, they may have noticed that you've changed as a person. You're not the same person that you were at a certain point in time. There's a lot of value that they are attaching to the fact that you are a different person now or perhaps that, you know, the old tricks, the old patterns, the things they used to do in the course of the situation, they can't keep doing it. I feel like, you know, there's so many possibilities here and your person is trying to control themselves or have an element of self-control. They have a lot that is on their mind. They're thinking about a lot of things. I feel like they're searching for answers. And the more they search for these answers, the more they start to obsess over it. I'm also getting the impression here that your person has been looking for a quick, quick fix. And because they sort of went into denial about what was wrong versus what was right and they were not able to face things inside of them, it caused some sort of a tower to occur for this individual. It's almost like they were looking for a replacement remedy to whatever it is that you brought into their life because they couldn't do what they could do to you. It's like, you know, everybody goes into a relationship with an element of innocence. You could be somebody that have a lot of experience or have very little experience. But when it comes to a new person, you don't really know what they're going to pull, what they're going to do, how they're going to act, how they're going to behave. You can't really tell, you know, in the beginning unless you are incredibly psychic. So I feel like in terms of the connection with this individual, they may have felt like they lost their hold on you and that they couldn't keep doing what they were doing before. And so what I'm also getting from Spirit is that they try to find an alternative means to expend that energy to see if, you know, their skills is going to work on someone else, might have worked for someone else. But what I'm also getting from Spirit is that in the course of doing so, if they did go down that path, they may have realized that it doesn't quite bring them the type of joy that they anticipated because the chemistry the two of you have with one another is very different to what they would find with another individual. So that challenge, that sort of connection that they have with you, you know, they might have been doing things, repeating behaviors just to get a kick out of it or just to see how much hold or control or power they have over you. But now that they don't have that power, it's not about the ego anymore. It's more about the fact that there's still love there. There's still that chemistry there. But at what cost do they throw that away, you know? What did they gain by playing those games? What did they gain by losing this connection? I'm getting that from spirit. Because they came out empty-handed. They didn't really come out as a winner. You know, they might have won a few battles along the way. They might have hurt you along the way. But what did they really gain? Because they're probably alone right now. They probably have no one around them. And they're probably in a position where... They can't find their way back to that sense of joy that you once gave to them. They can't fool you anymore. 
And sometimes you can love a person very much and know that they are a certain way and choose not to engage with them. Sometimes you can care about somebody very deeply and choose not to give them the attention that they're seeking. And it's in that absence of your attention to this individual that causes them the most amount of isolation and loneliness. I feel like... In terms of moving away from the situation, there was this idea that perhaps you were the one to blame. And, you know, they were trying to blame things not on themselves. But, you know, I do feel like this is a twin flame or soulmate situation. Some of you could be involved with the person that is married or you're married. You know, that's just a very slight, subtle indication here. But I feel like if you're not married or they're not married, or if the two of you are married to other people, just as an example, there's... This energy of moving away from this connection, but moving away in a way in which that um, losing the four of wands, losing the one person you actually want to be married to. I'm getting that from the central energies. Losing the one person that can really give you a complete sense of happiness and joy. And that's something that's incredibly overwhelming at this point in time for this person concerned. And so we see the shifts, you know, the gears start to shift in a different sort of direction. And it's either grow up or get out, right? It feels like that sort of energy is coming into play and they have a choice now. So it's very interesting in terms of how this person is processing the situation and coming to realize that, you know, they've lost a lot of pieces on the chessboard. And, you know, you could be the queen or you could be the king. But what is actually left of the situation? Because it feels like the two of you are at the opposite ends of that chessboard, not near each other. And so I feel like as they gaze into your direction, they feel that distance, right? So I'm going to be exploring your person's mind, heart and soul energy, as well as what exactly is going on in terms of the situation. What is the right move for you to make, given what you know so far? I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. I hope it has provided you with clarity as well as peace of mind. Have a wonderful day and take care.